Hello, I'm Miss Anne Harriman. I am a photographer and the chair of the South Bank Centre. And it is my great honour to have been able to be one of the judges of the Taylor Wessing Photography Competition with the National Portrait Gallery. The period of time that we've all been through, um, there is a lot to say and I wanted to find um, a sense of what the human condition has been through, through these extraordinary images. Single mothers um, do not get their stories told and Polly Braden has managed to do it with so much grace and sensitivity. And this image here of a mother heading home after dropping her child, the mask that is just hanging on to her, the sense of tiredness, vulnerability, uh, and fortitude. For me, I see you know, the, the sorts of women that, that, that keep this country, and many countries, many cities, many families going. I mean, this image, I still can't take my eyes off David. Um, and Katia, the photographer, found him uh, from a model agency, and rightly so, he's a, he's a supermodel so much going on, the beautiful use of natural light, um, posing uh, David uh, as you would with a master painting, um, but how women were sat, how women were posed, and having a man who there is a fluidity to his sexuality and gender, posed as a woman from a master painting in natural light is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I think a really great portrait um, has a way of whispering to your inner self so you can see light within yourself. It's, uh, it's witchcraft in many ways, a, a really strong portrait. And as I walk around the National Portrait Gallery or look at pictures taken by my friends and if, if I've done really well by myself, I am in awe of what we have managed to capture. I will say that, you know, photography, especially photographing human beings, people are, their souls are whispering to your lens. And it's your job to, to have a duty of care to that part of somebody else. And that is portraiture to me. It's far, far more than, than a, a lens and light. It is, you, you are holding on to parts of somebody and they're entrusting you to tell their story with your portrait. You will come to this exhibition and if you, like many of us, have had this moment of deep retrospection, you know, asking yourself who you are in these 18 months where the world went upside down, these, these images are the continuation of that. They will push you further to open those doors that you, you've always had the key to but been afraid to, to turn. That's what the power of this collection of portraits do. Um, they will make you ask those questions. They will, hopefully you will leave wanting to be the artist that you've, you've always been. Hopefully you will listen to that inner voice that's always been there. That's how I felt after seeing this broad range of images that cover the full spectrum of the human condition.